We're live. <laughs> We're live. This is Mike at Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement. Here in here the last couple hours, sunny Sharpsburg, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Earlier it was kind of poopy, kept clouding up, but that was okay. Made life a little easier. And what objectives we were trying to accomplish at that time keep stuff from drying on the vehicle we were working on this 2002 Tacoma and we both had a pretty long intense day have we not Miss Angela yes my erstwhile assistant <laughs> and gorgeous girlfriend Miss Angela who is learning how to do some of this stuff she seems to like it although there were times today she looked a little bored I don't know. Maybe she was concentrating. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. <laughs> but anyway, I'll walk out here and show you folks, for those of you who might be interested. Well, after that clock up there, look at that. <laughs> that thing's all cockeyed. <laughs> I didn't leave it like that when I was playing with it last time, did I? No. I need to throw it away. This wool slap out. Look at that clock. <laughs> Holy cow, holy cow. Anyway, we walk out to the garage here. Oh, man. And see, look, for those of you who like to watch this, this is the obligatory refrigerator magnet business card. See, there it is. Official, official. It will stick to this paint, and I'll explain to you why here in a minute. See there? It, it sticks to that one. Some of you remember other times I've showed it, it would not stick. I knew it was going to stick today. But for those of you who saw the first video and any of the photographs, you remember oh, I was about nine months ago or so, did deep, deep paint correction on this 2002 Toyota Tacoma, put a ceramic coating on it, a high quality one. And basically, what the owner did was just neglect it ever since then and the ceramic coating was no longer really beating a lot of water had a lot of contaminants on the paint and so forth and so on so we have now strip washed it oh man that was about a pain everything has been strip washed everything multi multi-step process and the ceramic coating that was on there did make that a little easier to do and because most of the contaminants and crap that ended up on this paint over the last nine months had adhered to the ceramic coating and not the paint itself so that made it easier the glass was easier to clean the wheels and tires everything was easier to clean folks oh that's miss cherish mitchell oh kevin's watching got a bunch of neighbors watching miss angela <laughs> but and then so we stripped it then we decontaminated the paint which it wasn't bad uh we used an iron x type product spray it on the paint let it dwell for a couple minutes to thoroughly rinse it off and it helps to remove the iron deposits after that we dried it with my forced air car dryer with heated air filtered air and then we pulled it in and we did a light clay bar because there weren't a lot of contaminants on there but there were some and today wasn't that much about paint correction is all that had previously been done as it was paint preparation so after all that then we did a one step polish using HD speed I believe it was we use or HD one one of the HD products not really to polish per se but to remove the ceramic coating that was on there. That was the thrust of that. That was the thrust of that. But as you can see, after a one-step polish, that's as far as we've gotten today, the thing has almost resurrected itself, looking pretty darn good. And for a lot of people, 
they would say, hey, that's good enough. I like that. I like that. And you could see, even though that had the white tiger stripes on it, it cleaned up pretty good. But we are going to go back and restore all of the plastic and rubber. Again, I'll walk back here in a minute and show you, like, this one back here, for some reason, did not clean up that well, but it's not a big deal. I'll be able to fix that, be able to fix that right up, right up. But our next thing we'll be doing, probably first thing in the morning, sometime tomorrow, we'll have to paint prep the entire vehicle, everything, every square inch of the exterior, all surfaces, all materials will all have to be paint prepped to remove because this HD stuff leaves behind a little bit of protection on the paint. But we want the paint down to the virgin clear. Because it's very slick right now. But if you left it like this, this would be a very temporary, very temporary protection on the paint. Probably less than a month. <laughs> but the wheels and tires are pretty clean. I'll go back over the tires again probably with some paint thinner or something like that. Uh, just to make sure they're absolutely clean before I put the coating on it. But what we're going to be doing is putting the tit the new DPC titanium coating on the paint, which will protect it for many years. It is much harder. It adds a lot more gloss and shine to the paint than that ceramic coating that I used on it last time. It, it's just a much, much, much harder finish. It's incredible. Incredible. And he also wants us to put the new titanium coating for glass on the windows, the exterior glass, which we put that on Miss Angela's car, and she likes it a lot. She says it's incredible. It, it improves the optical clarity of the glass as well as gives it a nice shine lots of hydrophobic properties as they like to call it which means water runs right off of it <laughs> on the way home from putting it on and it cures over time more and more and more and gets harder and harder and she drove through a couple rainstorms she said she never even had to turn her windshield wipers on and there are some locally available products, retail level, that you can use like Rain-X and some of those other things that some of y'all are familiar with. But the longevity of that, very temporary. Very, very temporary. It's just like, I mean, and I polished all this stuff up too. Yeah, yeah, on the front end. It's just like the retail level products that you can buy to put on stuff like this. Does it work? Yes. But it's very, very temporary. Very temporary. Very temporary. I believe last time I used Solution Finish on those. I'm going to try a different product this go around. But none of that will last if you don't take care of it. I don't care what you put on it. You can put clear 2K color coat on it, and it you don't take care of it, it's not going to last. Just like his headlights didn't last. They're not as bad as they were the first time around. But, you know, when you just shove it outside, drive it, don't do anything to it, it's going to eventually end up back just like it was. None of this stuff is permanent. Even when it's new, it's not permanent. That's why it ends up looking like this. I polished up the mirrors a little bit, not a lot, because today, like I say, wasn't about correction. It was about preparation. <laughs> but, you know, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. You got an observation put it in the comment section down there. if you got a question put it in the comment section or shoot me a pm i'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have try to help you out if i can about products equipment i used today if you want to know that and if you're watching on youtube hit that like or subscribe button and you'll get to see the next video in this series and other series that i may be doing on this project and other projects and you can also go back and look at previous projects if you so choose but yep 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 i'll be removing the license plate tomorrow i've already removed the antenna because it was in my way 
But for this customer, at his request, I had talked to him about, at the very minimum, doing rinseless washes on this vehicle. And he don't even own a computer, so he couldn't go online and buy any. So I mixed it up a gallon. Right there it is. He can take home with him and use when this is all over and finished with. It's optimum, no rinse and shine. Good, good stuff. Very versatile product, very versatile product. It dilutes way down, so it, it looks pricey initially, but it's not really once you get into the dilution ratios. But hey, I'm, we're gonna go in and make some supper now. I usually try to quit about five or six, and we had completed that stage, so it, I decided it was a good time for quitting. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna hunt around and see if I can find him a new wiper blade. See, they don't even replace his wiper blades. That's that's a piece of the wiper blade hanging down there, folks. <laughs> Comical. This guy's a trip, I'll tell you what. <laughs> he just drives the hell out of his vehicles. He's got like four or five vehicles. <laughs> oh lordy. Okay, people, thank you very much for watching. I hope you were somewhat entertained and somewhat informed and perhaps enjoyed it to a minor degree or more that can't be all bad right we got miss angela on board it can't be all bad can't be all bad <laughs> all right folks thank you so much goodbye now